Excellent! So every time I finish up a new PC build, I have this pile of leftover stuff that I didn't use. And sure, I could just push it all to the side and let it pile up in the corner of my garage like some increasingly dangerous fire hazard, but today I thought I'd figure out some better options. So here are four uses for those parts that are left over after a PC build is finished. The first item on my list is drive cages, because chances are your case has a few that you just didn't need. Though they're clumsy and they can block airflow when they're actually installed in a case, I think they have a certain beauty all on their own, and with just some string and tape and some other stuff like that, you can have your very own drive cage hanging mobile. Or mobile. Mo mobile? Anyway, uh, it's great for a kid's room or as a conversation piece in the study. Just watch out for those sharp edges while you're putting it together. Next up are all those boxes that the products came in. Now, you don't want to just toss these because many retailers require you to return the box and the product if you need to send the product back for an RMA. Take advantage of that big ass case box that your case came in though. Do a little bit of Russian nesting doll action to fit these smaller boxes into larger boxes and the, the larger boxes into the case box. And there you go. You have a nice compact storage system for all of your retail boxes. I recommend hanging on to all of the boxes for your build for at least a month after uh, the build is finished. And then of course, still keep the case box even after that so you can use it to safely transport your PC in the future. Now you're bound to also end up with a couple slot covers and a bunch of screws and other small items after your build is complete, and you should remember to keep and cherish all of them. Just remember, future builds. Future builds need screws, and maybe they need these screws right here, these specific ones, and I'm like their, I'm like their screw daddy. I, I, like, I like watch over them, and I keep them safe, and I can't let them down. I will eventually find a use for every single one of these screws, and until then they are stored in my safe and secure screw storage system, which is always very organized. Now you might say, Paul, that's, that's way too many screws, and the things in here, you're never gonna use those all in PC builds, and you might be right, but trust me, the satisfaction you get when you need just that one black PCI slot cover, and you know you've got like four or five to choose from, well, that's, it's just a very good feeling. And lastly, modular power supplies are all the rage these days, but it's kind of the point with a modular PSU that you won't actually use all your modular cables. Rather than keeping them in whatever silk and cashmere storage bag they came with for long term, why not take up cable sleeving? Just think, with this small tool and about 50 hours a week of free time for the next month to six months, you could become a cable sleeving master, customizing your rig with style and custom color choices, maybe some paracord sleeving in there, I sleeved a full power supply once. It, it floods me with, with awesome memories of happiness. No regrets. It wasn't time consuming at all. And those are my four uses for those parts that are always left over after a PC build is finished. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this quick little video, and if you did, of course, make sure to hit that like button on your way out. Links to very many important things are also down in the description, so check that out too. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.